Welcome to another edition of Smalltalk for You. This morning we're going to start taking a look at the message sending syntax of Smalltalk. And we're going to start with the simplest ones, unary messages. In Smalltalk, the only way you can get anything to happen is to send a message to an object. There are three kinds of messages, unary, binary, and keyword. Basically, you can think of binary as syntactic sugar, and I'll get to that in a moment. Unary messages are just a message that takes no arguments and are sent to an object. So here I have the object 1, I'm sending it the message class. So if I do this and print the result, I should get the class that 1 belongs to, which is small integer. False not should give me what I expect, true. So I'm sending a message called not to the class to the object false. Time now, notice the capital T, that tells me this is a class and I'm sending the now message to it. So I can do this. And this tells me something interesting. Classes in Smalltalk are full-blown objects. Everything in Smalltalk is an object, and the only way to interact with objects is to send messages to them. There's really no way around this. So these are all examples, including this tutorial example, prof-step-next. So that's just sending a unary message to the object prof-step. Now, binary messages. These are what can be called syntactic sugar. Basically, everything that is an arithmetic style operator in most languages is a message send in Smalltalk sent to objects with this kind of special syntax with exactly one argument to make it look more normal. I guess the designers of Smalltalk decided the keyword messages would look a little funky if attached to things most people think of as operators. So you can send things like 3 times 2 and you'll get exactly the answer you expect. 6. Date today, unary plus three weeks. This gets you into a little bit of precedence. Notice the way this is going to work. Date today plus three weeks. If I do this and do a print it, I should get three weeks from today. I execute the unary message first, this unary message second, and then the plus. So binary messages have lower precedence than unaries. Unaries will execute first, binary second, and in general you move from left to right. So here we have another binary, here we have another binary. So you see the way these work. Here I'm going to get a point object, 10 at 100. I'm going to get the point, 10 at 100, as you might think, and that's just the way it prints. Here I have another binary. Notice binary messages can contain one or two symbols in the middle, followed by one argument. So that's the way binaries work. And again, comma is a binary. It's just for concatenating strings. So these are all examples of binary messages. And again, the basic precedence of these two message types is unary, binary, left to right where unaries always execute before binaries. Now if you wanted a binary message to execute ahead of a unary, what would you do? You'd have to use parentheses. And the reason that's important is something like this. I'll start typing here and show you what I mean. 4 plus 3 times 2. You would think this would be 6 plus 4 or 10, but in small talk it's going to come out as 14. And the reason is, again, left to right, unary, binary. No arithmetic precedence something a lot of people have a little trouble getting used to, but it's something you need to realize in small talk. So, that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with whatever small talk you're using.